Hey, thanks for watching Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. So today we are going to be grooming a matted cat. And I don't really like to video record cat grooming because if you don't like or don't understand dog grooming, you're not going to understand cat grooming. In the sense, I mean, if you think some of the things that we do are dangerous, yes, they're dangerous, but if you think through a camera's view that the dog is being harmed during what grooming I'm doing here, you sure would not understand cat grooming. Cat grooming is not for everybody. It's very dangerous. Uh, that's why you'll find probably an average of one out of a hundred groomers knows how to groom a cat. Uh, we have basically undergo some minor training for the situation that we put ourselves at risk in. And I say at risk because, okay, so what I was saying was, I had a malfunction in the camera. Um, and I'm eating before, like, ah, before they come in. Okay, so you want to groom a cat. There's not very many cat groomers. As a matter of fact, when they, when a client calls me, they're like, oh my goodness, it took us forever to find you. Some cats I had groomed, oh my gosh, I should pull out this, this huge cat mat. The whole body was matted. It was a hundred, about $150 groom. It was very dangerous. It was very matted. I had the parent assist. It was worse than just a carpet. It had been matted and bathed over and over and over for, I don't know how long, over over a couple years. I wanna say a couple years. I haven't ever seen that cat again, so I have no idea what shape it's in now, but I will pull it out and, and do a separate video for this, like, at the end. Anyway, wow. So we're about, about to groom a matted cat. It may not be all matted, but cats, this is what I've learned. Whoever taught you may have taught you something different. I'm not a full-time cat groomer, but I will groom a cat. Um, and I know how to groom a cat. It isn't in, in my way. I don't like to do all these haircuts, fluffies. That's a cat groomer. Like, that's all they do is cats. Like, you walk into their facility and they have cats, not dogs, you know. You don't want to mix cats and dogs, in my opinion. Uh, the dog barking and the cat freaking out. You don't want that. So each cat appointment is going to be a private appointment here. And it should be in your store, too. You also don't want, you just want a clean facility. I've had uh, different stories. I always ask a lot of questions to my clients, just like I'm explaining everything to you guys. And I ask you guys a lot of questions, I think. <laughs> okay, so I ask my, cl uh, a lot, my clients a lot of questions all the time so I can educate and so I can share that information with someone else that might be going through the same thing that I hear about, right? So I've asked a couple clients that are cat cat folks and they had their cats groomed and they were so unhappy and I'm like why and they explained like they went into a place that all they had was cats but it was so d dirty and I said well why did you leave your cat there um, because the cat got sick right this is this can happen on the dog side too you walk into a facility you look around you smell you hear you listen you hear lots of animals you hear lots of barking and your cats that like there's a, a few things that a pet owner should be picking up on so be aware what well, I always tell people walk in before you're gonna go make an appointment with somebody walk in and get a tour if they can't give you a tour then there's something wrong or there's something they're hiding or there's just something that's just not right you should be able to see where your pet is gonna be groomed and how safe it is and how dirty it is you should be able to see that I'm not speaking for other groomers they probably don't like the fact that I just said that but in my business because we do minimal pets at a time like one at a time or two at a time you can i will let you walk through uh, you can walk the matter of fact the pet you guys see this pet parents are always helping me groom their their aggressive pets so anyways back to cat grooming like I, a client told me she walked in and was nasty smelly she, the it seemed like the owner was hoarding not hoarding cats but there was a lot of sick cats in their eyes all slimy shut Things like that going on, so he's the, the person might be rescuing, he or she might be rescuing cats. Whatever the case is, you're about to leave your cat there. That cat was left there for like four hours, didn't even get a groom. Because she called back and was like, is my cat done yet? So know where you're going. There's not a lot of cat groomers out there. Pick and choose. I'm pretty honest. I don't like to do the foo-foo cuts on cats. I just do, we're going to do a shave down. That's what you're coming to me for. I don't um, blow dry the, the cat and I don't cage dry the cat. So I allow the cat, I let the cat go home air drying. The, knowing the difference between dogs and cats, that's just what I choose. There's a teacher that I 
took a class with a groom teacher and she does cats lots of them she gave me in her class I learned so much about cats and cat bathing but I'm still not gonna do that here we just are a little bit of a different groomer I will groom cats they're mostly shave downs very very rarely I've done I did a cat you I don't know if I showed you guys I did a cat bath uh, recently very um, very irregularly am I going to work with a cat that's not getting like a shave down. So if the, if we're going to get like that kitten, we're going to get it used to grooming. Of course, we're going to try to implement bathing and grooming early on in its life so that we don't have the aggression. But I'm here mostly for matted cats, aggressive cats. It's the same with my business, dog business. I'm here for matted dogs, aggressive dogs. That's what I do. That's my specialty. So when a cat comes in matted, it is a very serious situation. So I wanted to get this out to you guys. Uh, I don't like grooming cats on video. I, I'm not, I'm not going to maybe even have David holding the camera and doing that, but I'm going to attempt to record this. And here we go. Hold on. Right back. Okay, we got dad assisting just to make the process faster. And here we go. We're going to do a 10 all over on this cat. I'm not even gonna just. I'm not gonna even mess with trying to save hair or do anything like that. We're just gonna go like this, and uh, just a, a simple little right here. Just two fingers, really. Yep, just right there. And with a cat, you just want to work quickly. You guys know how fast I am, anyway. But you guys wanna you wanna work fast with a cat. This is a. I don't like it. That's. A, I don't like it flap. Well, I'm I'm ready for you. And yeah, this is seriously matted, you guys. I mean, this is. Yeah, that's really bad. Not just under the arms here. Oh yeah, this, this is huge. This is huge right here. Mm -hmm. So you don't dig on a cat because it is like saran wrap, and if you're if you possibly can grab skin, just you want to just get what you can a little bit, and then find your mats and work under the mats. But you have to find your skin first. Very dangerous. So, see here. cat skin is like saran wrap. So if you nick it a little bit, it's gonna come wide open. It's all matted in here. Chunks of just. And for some reason, it seems like with cats, when it's matted like this, it's really pulling on, tugging on the skin the whole time. And I told him already, I mean, this is a prime place for me to nick a, a cat. And unfortunately, it's just what it is. Like right here, you cannot even see where the skin and the hair are, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to just grab all the skin. So this is not heavy-handed. is all matted in here. I'm so sorry. So they just adopted this cat. That's why she's in this shape. Uh, just straight up like three days ago from the shelter. So you see? Can't even tell, can you? And I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. I have to change this up. So if you have a hole, and I can see the hole here. If you have a hole, I'm actually going to, there's no skin here. I'm going to take that like that so I can have a little bit of an opening. You can see here real close. I don't know if you can see this, but you, can, you can't tell where the skin is here. The mat is, but it's pulling on the skin real hard. So that's very painful right there. And that's most of her body, it looks like, on this side. Let's see. All right, we just gotta get in there. See, it's actually pull, pulled mm -hmm. the hair off here. Oh, That's how bad that was. I can even bring my comb in here. If I can, get it in here. Oh no, don't look at me like that. Look at me like that. Okay, we'll get it in there. Hmm. Okay, 
I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip, come back to this. I'm gonna come back where it's not as matted. Get myself a hole. So this, some of this is actually not matted, so I'm gonna do this and create some kind of hole here. So I'm leaving the mats alone because that's gonna take a minute. You gotta feel the body, make sure you're, you know, don't get lost in the hair. So you can't hardly see the body parts here. Oh yeah, we got some poop back, back here. Really smelly. It's really bad back there. I know, I'm so sorry. She's just been peeing on herself the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. Yep. We were singing Smelly Cat to her. Well, they know. Okay, 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 chill. Chill, you're good. You ready up there? Yep. I'm so sorry. She's not going. Don't spray me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're good. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm trying to help you out here. Okay. She's not going to go anywhere. Oh, that's probably the best position we can have. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, I'm trying to help you out. You got to let me help you. It's really nasty back here. No, no. Okay, hold on. I'm so sorry. Okay, hold on. No, no. Like, it's hey, not, it's this okay. is not a dog, you guys. So it's I don't know it's why I'm okay, yelling. Eleanor. It's okay. It's, it's not okay. gonna listen to me. It's okay, Eleanor. It's all right. It's all right. I know. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay. It's okay, Eleanor. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, we're trying to help. It won't take long. If you fight it, it takes longer. It's alright. I know, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Better do it. Yep, we're almost there. I wish. I'm, I am. I'm hurrying up. She's trying. She, she's doing good. You gotta stay still or she's gonna get you. Don't want her to nick you. You gotta stay still. Yeah. You gotta stay still. What are you doing, Sylvie? Blades here. Like this. It's okay. She's trying to help. Okay, so you've got to stay here like this. I might need another set of hands. Yeah, maybe. I, maybe. I can hold the top and then, uh... hold the back two legs here. Okay, that's all. And you can look that way. You don't have to actually look at her and smell that. Let me come in here. I haven't broken through my nose since I've been over here, so. Breathe up. Yeah. Breathe up. Okay, here we go. Watch your fingers here. There you go. I'm actually not caring about how pretty this looks. I just want to get it off and be able to get into this matted area because that's going to take our longest. But everything is matted. This is just really bad over there. Yeah, we knew when we got her. It was just, she was just such in bad shape that we had to get her in as fast as we could. We could, because I know she's in pain too with all sure, the mats. Sure. Mm -hmm. There's a skin flap here, so you want to watch that. I just changed my blade on the one. It shouldn't not be hot yet, but be aware. Easy place on the mats on the tummy to get a nipple, so you just try to be careful. Be sure to breathe though, Mom. I'm not hearing you breathe at all though. 
So I think, if I remember right, mom was like, it's matted under the armpits, yeah. not in the sanitary. Look, this is the whole cat. Yeah. Totally different story. So on my YouTube, you guys, when you're talking to a client over the phone, not that I don't believe people, but I, when someone says a matted cat, it's usually not just one little area on a cat. It just has never been that way to me. So when I quote them, I let them know, hey, it could be, it could be higher. I won't know until you come in. So just be really clear with that, because over the phone you cannot, you can't tell me that, right? No. It's really hard to get the clarity over the phone on what matting is. Well, at least we're so matted close to the skin, you couldn't feel that it was not her. Exactly, you couldn't tell, right? Yeah. Until you, yeah, until you're, we didn't know it was this bad either until now that you're getting down into them. And you can see can't them. even get a comb through. Yeah, I, exactly. I can't even get a comb under the mat. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um. You want, as soon as I put the mat, the blade closer to the body, a, the skin can lift into there. So it's really hard to actually. Hey, babe. You can come take over the camera if you want. I've got the camera on the <coughs> um, pedestal here. You have to take it off with the, like, pull this, so, so, hold the camera, and then pull it, it's recording. <coughs> okay. Okay. Woo, that is actually breathing. Did you nose. get some? Yeah. Wolf of a... Yeah. So I'm lucky I have all these people holding the cat, but this would be really hard to do and if she, they would someone else would probably say it should be sedated uh yes right, that, that's, that's what i was wondering if, was, if we needed to do that or not i i'm a groomer that people come to after they've been grooming can you take that yeah i've that they've been grooming uh, sedated for years so i i'm not one that's going to say let's get sedation because it's so expensive and it's so hard on the system yeah. right and if the cat was really aggressive, which I have, I've, I've been at a veterinarian grooming, and I'm like, this cat must be sedated. There's just no way. I can't, yeah. I can't even touch it, you know. So it really just depends on the cat. So this one time, hopefully, we'll never be back here again. Oh, no, we'll never be back here You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully, shape. we'll never be back here again. And to pay 150 130 for the sedation and then plus the groom costs, I think oh. us knocking it out might take longer. But once we break through the mats, which we will, um, this is where she She's really doesn't like it. Her, Up under the you know, tummy? Yeah, under her tummy and the like her, her okay. private areas. This so I'm going to kind of try not to... Don't let go, Mom. Okay. I'm just going to kind of move her here. Let me try to come over here and just work on something else. I don't want to get her really pissed off yet because I have yeah. a lot more to do. Yeah. So I want to get the pissed offness later. <laughs> and save that for later. It's okay. It's all right. you got to get all the mats out. I'm up underneath your chest up here is really bad too. Yeah, I don't even know, man. I don't even know how to come about this. You just gotta uh, work your way around everything. So. Well, you're doing great. Thanks. So let me use, I think how I've done it before. Um, I need to create some kind of hole here. Yeah. 
like you almost need a scalpel. To yeah, I need to just go, yeah, you know, like, like that. Straight yeah. edge. Yep, exactly. Oh, man, you know that hurts her little skin so bad, too. I'm pulling on her skin. The whole, I mean, the mat's to, pulling on it. Yeah, the mat's the mat already is. just pulling on it. I'm not doing anything more. Just. Yeah, yeah we know. You're going to feel so much better, though, after this. A guy over the phone, same scenario, two days ago, uh, got a cat, uh, it's matted, and I, he was like, well, do you sell the clippers? And I said, I do not recommend. If, if you were, remember, I think I might have told you that, too. I was like, if you're going to try to, do not use scissors. Do not go in there and try to cut out a mat. Because if you don't know what you're doing, man, you're going to really, you'll be in the hospital, I'll tell you what. And he, he didn't come in for grooming. <laughs> so, you don't want to try this at home. It, it may... It doesn't, it, this is not easy, you guys. And you need all these people holding, so. Unless you're going to do the sedation, I mean. There's no way I could have done it just by myself. It, the cat would be moving and in pain. And she's doing really good for this. She's only just showing signs of pain, you know. Mm -hmm. She's not swiping at me yet or anything like that, so. It's amazing. Um, a regular, another cat would probably already be trying to kill me. No, she's been a sweet baby. I just wish there was a different blade that they all they can all suck in the hair. And here, I mean, I'm watching her um, paws. I'm definitely she are, she can really swipe my eyeballs if she really tried hard, and she cats are pretty fast. So always watch what you're doing. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. Okay? Oh, yeah. Just feel like I'm working my way around the table over here with her. <laughs> it's fine. I'll move away. We'll just go in a circle here. We'll dance. I'll dance together. <laughs> So did you guys, when you got her, bathe her? Did you tell me? Did you say no? Well, Someone else had. Yeah. Uh, but what were, what were you gonna say? Uh, yeah, we we haven't done anything to her. So if someone would her. adopt this cat and bathe her right away, triple triple tighter. And see, that's what we were worried about. It's like, so do we bathe her? Do we do not? That. So that's no, what we called. So it. glad. We called a professional. We uh, we couldn't. We didn't know how to even attack it. So if you're a human and you tease uh -huh. your hair, like uh -huh. back in the '80s, I had my hair teased up like 20 feet high. You tease your hair, you put water in it, tease it, dry it, you know, over and over. It's, you're not going to brush it out at the end of the night. You're just going to shave it out. So I'm so glad you didn't make this uh, worse. So if you have a matted cat like this, you do not bathe the cat. Good job. So I'm kind of, I can see the skin, I can see the hair, but I'm kind of pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. Almost like I'm using my clippers to brush it out further so I can have more cutting room where I can see that I'm not cutting the hair, uh, the skin. Yeah, but it's definitely painful for the cat. Hope she doesn't bite my elbow. <laughs> it's right in her face. Oh, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. 
My blade is not touching the, the skin of the cat at all. Okay, don't get mad at me here. All right, all right. Give me a little breather. Mm, it's okay. Wow, well, you see a tummy, you guys. Uh, I mean, we, we are making some progress here. Uh, these up here, so. Don't uh, tell me, man. Just, uh, just uh, tell me, man. <laughs> I'm gonna leave those there. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, let me come in. Let me come in and. Um, Do I need to trade places with you? I'm not sure. Uh, I need, yeah, let's try that. I need to switch hands. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. A little, little, little change here. Okay, stay there. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. I'm looking at that going, oh gosh. Like, how did I do this before? I'm going to grab those scissors. Um, So, David, I don't know if you want to, it'll probably be an hour video, but um, you can come back and, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you want, uh, for the sake of the length of the video, you can stop here and then come back and see improvement and come back again if you want, or you can let it play, it don't matter to me. It's just tedious, that's all. I know, I'm so sorry. She's doing so good, you guys. I can't believe it. I think she's figuring out that the parts that have been done feel better. Hopefully. I know, baby. I know. I see. Expose it, you really realize how bad they were. <laughs> yeah, to the, it hurts. Yeah, it definitely hurts. Definitely hurts. I know, I know it. Because doing this, the skin's not flat, so I couldn't mm -hmm. even use the clippers if I wanted yeah. to. Um, not, there's not in this mat anyway. Yes. 
so much better after this. Smell. It does smell so much better. <laughs> You have to go back and forth and see different angles and try to attack it from a different way. It will be there forever. So once I create a little opening, I can see the skin on the other side then. Come try it from this angle. Not the best to use your blade back and forth, but when you just have to go take it and just fold it into the video. Cool. So it's been a battle and I've uh, kind of set the parents free and we're working with I need to rest my thumb a second here. So we're working with her. We had some, man, just some serious mats. I saved one right here. This sucker, man, I'm going to save this for my wall when I build it. And um, she's actually letting us get it all done. There's some painful areas she hated her tail shade, but I went ahead and did that because the stench I think would be great to not have that hair. Animal shelter hair with pee and urine is just, you can't get rid of it no matter how often you wash wash it so that, 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 that. you gotta hold the scruff it does not hurt the cat to hold the scruff but there has to be control in this situation so I'm holding the scruff and I'm moving quickly um, some mats back here still I'm trying to work out that's the last bit of it I'm sweating I mean this is very hard work she's wanting to pull back and jump Trying to see how I'm gonna get this. Come on, you gotta let me get in here, okay? You gotta let me get in here. I'm just because she's fighting, I'm just gonna go backwards on my turn. There's some rats right there. Okay. Alright, Dad, I'm gonna have you see if I don't know if you can. See, mom and dad are here. They're watching. Okay, so I'm going to need to get tuck my blade here. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do, um, just our fingers have to be out of the way. And I'm really just worried about the uh, mats here. Okay, let me see. Yep, thank you. He's going to tuck that ear. I just want the mats out because everything else will be fine. I'm pushing down really hard. He's got the scruff. It's still a very painful situation. Just got to move fast. Her tail's swiping. She wants to attack. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, stuff is in there. Okay, we're almost done with this. Let me get that mat in there. Let me, see. Let me take this all out of the way. Dang, that mat's right there. Let me try to get this on. Okay, let's look at it. This mat, you can't can't do it like a dog. You can't just shave it out, you know, because there's skin. It's folded into it. Oh my goodness, get out of there already! I got it! I got it! I got it! No! 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 No. No, no, don't scratch yourself. Don't scratch yourself. No. Nope. Hey, Eleanor, Eleanor, calm down. Calm down, Eleanor. It's okay. It's all right, Eleanor. Let her finish. I'm like, gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, this is, you almost got it. You almost got it, Eleanor. Good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a good girl, Eleanor. Yeah, you're, oh no, it's okay, Eleanor. You're good. You're good. 
You're good. You're good. It's all right, Eleanor. You're good. You're good. Here, take a look at this. Look at this thing over here. Yeah. You're good. Yes, look at something else. Look at something else. Yeah. Yes, look at something else for me. How about that? Pay attention to this net. Yeah, there you go. Let me see in there. Let me see in there. Take a look at the net for me. There you go. Look over here. Look over here. Pay attention to this thing. Look at this net thing. Yeah, there we go. Yay! We got it out. Okay, let go here. Yay, look at the net. Look at the net. You come over here. This stupid cord on the side. I hate this cord, man. Okay, see, look at the net. Look at the net here. Get mad at the net. Right here, look at the net. Look at this way. Good, good, that's good. Almost done. Thanks for moving the hair for me. Yeah. Look over here. Almost done, almost got it. Okay, one more, one more here. One more here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he did that to you. Watch your ears, dude. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Holy crap! <woo. laughs> okay, thanks for watching. There's a lot more to it, but this is good for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Okay, hey you guys. Wow, this was a serious situation. A very, very matted cat. She's not matted anymore. Check out the back here, how tight the mats were holding on to her skin back here. I got them without nicking it. I can't believe how red they are, but she feels so much better. Um, the cut's not perfect, but it, all the hair and all the matted hair is gone. So thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.